I'm Richard Costin. I'm a general surgeon here at Ohio Health Doctors Hospital and uh, I do a variety of procedures and one of the most common we do is gallbladder surgery. My name is Nicole Hale. I work as a PSA which stands for Patient Support Assistant with Ohio Health at Doctors Hospital. I started feeling nauseous and um, had really bad ad abdominal pain, so my mom actually took me to the ER. Nicole had a history of having some intermittent abdominal pain, mostly in the upper abdomen, indigestion type symptoms, but had recently had some pain or the last couple months that really was intermittent, and one attack was bad enough that brought her into the emergency room where they evaluated her and did an ultrasound and, and found that she had gallstones. It's a little more unusual for, for uh, teenagers to have gallstones, but in her case she actually had a family history which is uh, she had a mother and a grandmother who had gallstones and that's a, a, a big risk for having gallstones. The best option for gallbladder disease is surgery. The two options that Dr. Costin offered me was the multi-incision laparoscopic surgery. The second uh, surgery option that Dr. Costin offered was the single site robotic assisted surgery. I opted for the single site robotic surgery um, because it had uh, hardly any scarring at all that's noticeable and uh, since I'm younger I thought that it would be nice to not have scars. The big difference with robotic is it's a safer procedure for the patient. There's better visualization, three-dimensional visualization on the camera. It's not an uncommon thing that patients will come in and, and ask about the robotic surgery and think that the robot actually does the surgery like we program a procedure into it and it does the procedure on its own and that's far from the, the truth. The robot is just an instrument we use like many other instruments. We go in with traditional surgery and put in uh, the trocars where we can put our instruments through. Then we sit at the console and we control everything. We're able to control the camera with the robot, make the camera look where we want it to. So it's all controlled by the surgeon. It does not do anything on its own. It mimics the surgeon's movements that he makes. The surgeon the surgery day started fairly quickly. They took me back around 7.15. They started preparing me for the surgery, uh, giving me all the fluids and everything. Uh, I was very nervous, but the nurses uh, really helped me feel comfortable and they kind of joked around with me. I woke up after surgery. It was about 11.30 and they discharged me around noon. With any surgery, complete recovery and complete healing is about six weeks. But with the laparoscopic uh, single incision robotic surgery, most people are back to driving within a couple days. Most people are back to work within a week. No limitations when they leave the hospital as far as what they can eat. There's no limitations as far as going up and down stairs and no limitations as far as walking. The recovery period I had was about a week and I started feeling close to normal. I actually started working after a week. One of the great things about being in a system like Ohio Health is the resources. We're able to get equipment when we need it. We're using new generation robots and, and the highest tech equipment and able to do new procedures. Teaching is nice when in a large system we're able to bring in new technology and then have experts teach other surgeons to bring the tech, spread the technology through the system. I chose Ohio Health Doctors Hospital um, when I was ill because I knew of the hospital very well from working there and I was very comfortable with um, all the associates that work there. Uh, I felt I was in great hands. This is my need-to-go place when I need help.